Welcome to the Hydraulic Press channel. Today we're going to find out can you turn any cereal into uh, these uh, Fetapix brick type of cereals with the Hydraulic Press. And I got the idea from the fact that quite many of the bricks and stones and clumps that we have made with these tools, they look a bit like Fetapix. And some facts about these. Uh, one of these weighs 20 grams and you should eat two of these according to the box. And that gives you lousy 136 calories and it doesn't taste very good because it's quite boring materials there. But uh, I think we can do much better in terms of the caloric content and the taste. So yeah, I think first I do like super feta picks, maybe put like 10 of these in size of one. And then let's try with the other, other cereals also. And I have made brand new tool for this one. So it's food grade, so we can test the results. And uh, I have piston that I'm uh, planning to use in two directions. First with this, I can do like a rough squeezing to get enough material there. And then I'm going to flip it and use this side for the high pressure stuff with the seal to prevent the uh, stuff escaping. Yeah, but let's see how many we can fit. I think we can uh, do at least six maybe. And with six of these, we have a bit over 800 kilocalories in one Fetapix brick. So I think that's much better number. And I'm going to give it like good, maybe 40 tons. We don't have to go super crazy. Yeah, that's about 50 tons. I think that's enough. Probably more than enough. Okay, it's slightly stuck. I'm going to uh, get new setup here. Here it comes. Super feta plus. Yeah, I think I'm going to do other cereals next and then on the uh, end of the video I'm going to dip these into milk and see how they react. Will they get like soft and mushy like the real things or will they stay like rock hard? Okay, and then corn flakes. And uh, this says frosty. I'm not sure if there's like some extra sugar or what's the difference. But uh, this, is, this is the stuff that we have. Okay, and it's stuck again. Okay, okay, I think, I think we have something here. If possible, this is even more dense than the uh, feta picks, feta picks. Okay, the dry stuff is really easy. So now we have this and this has some liquid on it. There is some uh, gooey stuff on the middle. So I think this is going to be a bit moist and let's see how that affects the end result. Yeah, there is 12% of fat on this. So I think uh, that might be part of the liquid and also maybe small amount of water. So it's going to be a bit different this time. Okay, stuck as hell. Yes. <laughs> This is some serious stuff. It's 
completely solid, solid clump of something. Okay, and then the healthier option, roasted oats and some uh, nuts. So, a bit different. And also high in fiber, probably means high in dryness. <laughs> but actually not sure because there is uh, 20 grams of fat from the nuts. So, could be pretty like a solid option also. And I think we don't need so many like uh, middle crusts for this. This feels much heavier stuff. Oh, oh, oh. that was 100 tons. At least this is dense. Oh, is there more? Yeah, two layer stuff. Two layer stuff. Completely solid as you would uh, guess from the force that we used. Okay, and then the last one, just for the colors. I want to get like nice colors on the last one. And I think this is also interesting to see how small is one cereal on the uh, finished brick. So now we can get some idea how these form into brick. Okay, hard to say anything about this, but now they are all ready and here are the weights and the caloric contents of each flavor. So I think there's only one thing to do after this and that's to taste them and see how they react on milk. Uh, okay, I was <laughs> sorting this out for the like group photo and oh no, what happened? The Vetapix one. This just like broke down. And uh, okay, I'm, I'm going to still taste this, but this is not going to go into the milk because it's just like powder. This is absolutely the driest thing that I have ever eaten. So, not good. You shouldn't try to make super feta pigs from feta pigs, but uh, how about these? These ones here. Okay, here we go. And I'm going to first taste them and then try with the milk. And first one, the frosties, it's here. Yes. There is so much sugar on that, that first you just taste the sugar, and then there is the same dryness as on the feta pigs. And then we have this, this thing. This is the uh, like caloric king of the punch. Also there is some like lines there. This is not so dry. They spit like chocolate. Yeah, much better than that. And then the uh, these unicorn fruit loops, probably dry as hell. Yeah, really dry, not so sweet as this. Mm. And then the uh, healthier option is the last one. Yeah. This is not so. This is not so hard packet as this. I assume that this is going to break on the milk, so I try first only those three. Not sure should you put first the milk or the cereal. I have no idea. But in they go. I, I do this one by one at a time. 
to get like uh, most realistic results. I put more there. They seem to help together pretty, pretty nicely. <laughs> this, this, this doesn't get soft at all. Okay, this, this also. <laughs> yeah, this is hard as a rock. And this starts to crumble. Yeah, this turns into smoosh. It takes much longer than with like normal feta picks, but the uh, fate is the same. This is still hard as a rock. You can hear the sound. Nothing is going to change with this one. And this is a bit softer than this. But yeah, you can like scrape parts of yeah, I think these two turn into smash, and this, you could, made a, you could probably make a boat out of this one. This is not going to go anywhere. <laughs> and then the last one. There is some uh, leftover from the first round. I assume that this is going to just break when I dip it here. Yeah, this is like really... Yeah, it just breaks down. Yeah, but uh, that was this week's cooking show. If you have some other great ideas like this, please let me know. And that is all for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.